Kerwin's Game Store, the best place in gaming. Ready? All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Kerwin's Game Store TCG Player uh, 5K Modern New York State Championship. Um, we're kicking off Modern. Uh, it's going to be a pretty good tournament. We've got a pretty good turn uh, turnout. I think we probably about 90 people, right? I think the tables go up to, oh, no, probably about 100 people. Yeah. So we've got about 100 people. Um, we're, it's going to be a pretty good tournament. I know we're competing with the Pro Tour, but uh, Modern's better than Standard. All right, so we're going to go ahead and kick actually right over to the feature match real quick. We have uh, Kevin Jones on the right-hand side. Uh, he's playing against Sam Spiro. Um, just waiting for Deckless, so we let you know what we're playing. I think we're thinking Kevin Jones is on Scape Shift. I'm fairly positive Kevin Jones is on Scape Shift. He asked me uh, if I had cryptic commands. <laughs> There's only so many decks that can play that. Yeah. So, uh, uh, alright, so it's kind of hard Aired to see Mesa. Right Maybe not. He's probably on Blu-ray right then. Yeah, I'm sure he's on Blu-ray right. So we're just waiting for Deckless, so we'll know for sure in a little bit, but they're going off. Um, we'll see who won the roll. Not quite sure just yet. Um, looks like Kevin's keeping. Um... Kevin looked like he's nodding his head pretty good, so. Affinity? That's so, probably a Mox Opal, but we can't tell. <laughs> yep, okay, is this just the nuts? Five cards? He's, uh, he's playing Drop of Blast. This, the glare is really bad. Um, yeah. We're gonna have to, we'll get that fixed. Um, oh, nope. Definitely playing Scape Shift. Stomping Ground, Cryptic Command, Band of Beasts. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's most definitely uh, escape ship. Um. All right, so Memnite looks like he comes in there for one, one damage. whopping point of damage. No, you're right. Um, all right, so Kevin on tap says short. Pretty happy he didn't lay down the rest of his hand there. Um, <laughs> plays a Sekiro Trap Elder. Uh, let's see. So he's like sure on tap. So he's got two lands out. Shift. What's the card in the bottom left corner? Can bottom you? left corner, I Dark think, is a Mox Opal. Mox Opal. Because he played it on turn one. What's on top of underneath the Springleaf? I can't quite tell. Looks um, like another Med Knight. I think it's an Ornithopter. Ornithopter. It's an Ornithopter or Med Knight. Okay. So, well, no, he'd be attacking probably then. So he's going to block and then sack. Um, saving himself some damage. I mean... Sam got off to a good start here, but it looks like he's just doesn't have he's any doing, of the power he's cards. He's doing what fizz, with the, as fizzing as Affinity can do when you're kind of just like, look at this hand, and then... You're like, I played five cards in turn one, and then you don't do anything. Like, he has a Galvanic Blast and a Shrapnel Blast in his hand, so, he, you know, he has nine points of burn in his hand. But yeah. See, that's why I don't actually like the Affinity burn. I, I would much prefer. Um, I just want to let you guys know, too, you can kind of see in the corner there um, that... Uh, Kevin, or you can see the feature match behind them, which is actually Mark Morrison versus Alex Schmidt. Um, from the looks of it, it looks like Mark. I can't tell. I need to. We need to figure out who is on the left and who is on the right. But um, I think Mark is on the left. Mark's on the no. Mark's on the right. I can see his head there. So yeah. So oh, Mark's yeah, on right. burn. Um, and left. That's looks definitely like, interesting. Left yeah, looks blue, like, white, red. Yeah, left looks like blue, white, red. So there's right, a so path and some lands. So yeah, Kevin goes ahead and uh, see your visions. Um, he's fetching all those islands. I think that's natural for Kevin. I don't know if I've ever seen him play not blue. <laughs> I definitely haven't. Um, definitely working up to that cryptic command. Alright, so Kevin's thinking about... Is it Charm and to? Search for Tomorrow are the cards that he's pondering? Um, <laughs> depending on his hand, I don't know if I... I don't know how Is it Charm is. Yeah, I mean, Ezra Charm is a pretty decent removal spell, um, which is good. I feel like in the matchup especially, you know? Yeah. Because it can, you know, it can counter his whatever also. Yeah. If he's, like, creating a plating and doesn't have the mana, which he probably has the mana, but we won't get there yet. So he's going to act... Kevin Jones cool. definitely about to go for the Ambush Viper tactic. Oh, no? No. With what, Snapcaster? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I guess there's nothing to block. No, there's not. I mean, you trade your Snapcaster for Head Knight. Oh. <laughs> So, Kevin takes um, an Infect there. Um, I'm going to have to do one eye or something. So, and then he takes one, two, three damage total. So, 16 uh, as his life total currently. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, you can just write it out. Key. 
Um, so Kevin goes ahead and just hard cast search for tomorrow. Uh, going to go ahead and pop a land down, which is pretty good for him. Um, I mean, even though Kevin's losing this, kind of, like, in the long run here, he's actually slowly going to, you know. I think it only shows a little bit. Yeah. Um. Well, so, I mean, he's got three lands now. He's probably going to have some sort of removal spell there. Um, and then he's going to be looking to escape ship pretty soon. So Yeah. That's the thing about this deck. You can be losing and then out of nowhere just turn around and win the game. Yeah. Well, Especially against decks like Affinity. It's just a race. Like It's not even like you're playing a controlled deck. Oh, oh my that's okay. So, all right. So, what? It, and Kevin goes ahead and casts Snapcaster there. He's going to see our missions. He just kind of wants to win the game. Uh, he's He feels pretty safe that Sam's not going to just kill him next turn, especially since he has a... Well, not really, because he can just throw anything onto... How many artifacts does he have? One, two, three, four, five... Six when you activate seven, he can actually probably infect him next turn if he has a cranial plating. If he's a cranial plating, but if he has a cranial plating, I'm pretty sure Kevin's just dead. Yeah, um, well, no, if he can one, two, three, four, five, six, no, he's most seven, dead. he's most definitely dead. If, if no, if well, he play, eight, no, because he only takes he doesn't he only takes nine, he only goes to nine to infect one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no, plus cranial plating. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, dark eight, eight, nine. Yeah. So yeah, no, Kevin's dead if he has green plating. Which happens. I guess Kevin's like, well, it's either that or I win next turn. So yeah. You know, sometimes you just can't play around. Not. Uh, the game's over on the right side. <laughs> well, on feature table two. So I'm assuming Mark Morrison won, unless he just got blown out. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't look like Sam Spiro has it. He just activates it. He activates Inkmont there and says swing, swing. So he's going to take another infect and then three points of damage total. So he's going to go down to 13. And two poison. Will slash work better? Maybe. So let's see. Kevin untaps, swings with that. Um, <laughs> Sam says, sure, I'll take two. Um, I mean, you know, escape shift, you got to get him down to whatever eight, you need. 18 eighteen's the best number, really. And then Kevin's tapping all of his mana, floating some mana. Almost assuredly casting Scape Shift and then keeping the other mana floating. Four, five, six, seven lands total. So he's got seven mana, Scape Shift. Pretty sure Sam should probably just offer Handshake here. Yeah, he's just he's dead. There's actually, nothing he can... maybe he's reading the card. He might not know what the card does. Um, I'm, I, I don't think there's anything he's going to be able to do main board oh, with totally one. Isn't. Oh, no, it's a Moxopal on tap. But still, he's not going to be playing a Counterspell main deck. With his Shrapnel Blast and Galvanic Blast. Yeah, no, just not worth it. So, but, you know, you got to make I don't him think do this, it. I don't know what this guy knows what's doing. So he sacrificed seven lands. Kevin looks at him and says, sacrifice seven lands. He's going to fetch uh, one and six, right? Yeah. Yeah, one Valakut, six lands. <clears throat> shoot him in the face for 18. And probably going to go ahead and move on to the next game here. Yeah. See, it's weird there because he almost, like, he could have lived if he had just blocked the Snapcaster with his own Ornithopter. I hope Kevin's not putting those into play first. <laughs> well, no, they all enter simultaneously no matter what happens. Okay, alright, alright. And shoot you in the face. So all of them enter simultaneously, so they all see the other five, and then he takes 18 points of damage to the face. Sam Spiro's And like... we're gonna go to game two, because Kevin Jones has three mana floating, I'm assuming he yeah. has a counter spell. Yep. So he picks him up. Sam, I kind of just saw Sam like, that's cool. <laughs> like, oh, that's like, cool. Good game. <laughs> um. <clears throat> but yeah, a weird misplay that most players probably wouldn't think of is blocking with your Ornithopter on the Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, well, I mean, I probably would have just for lols, like, because there's no reason not to, I think, right? Yeah, but, you know, it, like you were saying, if he did, if he doesn't know the match... Right, well, and I don't think he did, because otherwise I don't think he would have just... Yeah, I don't think he would have let himself go down to 18 for no reason when the guy has seven lands. Yeah. So after sideboard here, I'm not really sure what... Affinity is going to be able to bring in. I know that Kevin Jones is probably going to have some amount of anger of the gods, and that seems very good, uh, unless you're only. Oh, he's playing Soul Artifact too. Who's that? Oh, he is. Yeah. He's, he's playing, playing so a... many. It's weird. See, I don't like that because, like, I feel like, like it's not it's not far, it's not focused enough at all. All right. So Mark Morrison did win game one. Had Kevin Jones playing Inferno Titan. I don't know if that was main or not, but. That is definitely an Inferno Titan at the top of his deck. Mm -hmm. Alright, so those of you who are joining us, uh, this is our TCG Player Modern 5K New York State Championship. Um, pretty good pretty good event. We have about 100 people turn out. Um, thank you for tuning in. I think we should...
Uh, yeah, let's go. Well, let's go over to the feature match too. Uh, well, these guys are still sideboarding. Yeah, we'll let them. Well, let's see back. if they mulligan. Yeah, well, we can just we, we can watch them mulligan yeah. a little bit better. So, so this is Mark Morrison versus uh, Alex Schmidt. Alex Schmidt, for any of you who know, we're assuming Mark is up at least one game. Oh, one game. Maybe they are tied now because it seems that unless it took them that long to sideboard. No, I'm pretty sure it's just Mark's up a game. Um, so it looks like uh, Alex is going to go ahead and mulligan there on the left. Mark keeps his hand. That's never a good thing. No. You never want your burn opponent to keep their hand. <laughs> and you never want to mulligan. <laughs> Each one of your cards is The only thing you don't want to do is be down cards. So we'll go ahead and throw back since you can kind of see that in the little side corners there anyway. Um, all right. Kevin's thinking, doing some math. Like, how many... Is it charms do I actually need here? You know, I don't know if I saw any Ravagers inside of the Affinity Player's deck. That would be terrible. It would be terrible, but maybe it's like a budget kind of thing, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, he has so many two drops, but he he also could just play like a bunch of one ofs to see which. I don't yeah, know. I mean, I, think I, mean, I feel like the 5k is not something you mess around at. <laughs> you test. The New York City Championship 5k. That you get qualified for two different 50Ks for. Yeah, this qualifies you for two 50Ks. Uh, I, know, I think one of them's in Indy. I don't know where the other one is. I have no idea where the other one is, but it's such value. Yeah. Both of us were very tempted Fif to play in this. 50Ks are very good. <clears throat> well, we have some action over on the other side, so... We'll go ahead and strip back over. Um, we got a Goblin Guide. I'm not sure if he let the top card be revealed or not. Well, I mean, obviously, so Alex is probably going to be down at 18, minus 1, so he's at 17 on the left-hand side there. Um, the old Basic Mountain Goblin Guide from yeah. Mark Morrison. <laughs> I'm so surprised. This is the first time we've seen Mark Morrison not play Blue, I that's think. One, that's one of the best combos in Modern. <laughs> um, so let's see what happens here. I mean, I'm sure he's probably got answers, I guess, right? So let's see. So Mark's going to... Just aggro two, gonna flip the top card, maybe. Are they not gonna flip the top card? There you go. Lightning Helix, ooh. That's that not is not what you want to see for Mark. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't have a white source of mana yet, but you yeah. can't assume that he doesn't have it. Yeah, well, Lightning Helix is just a very good card against the burn decks. Uh, Mark's gonna I'm gonna assuming two, he's so gonna, he's gonna, gonna give Ivalon a Great Revel here. I mean, unless he has some other sort of burn, but Ivalon of Great Revel is very good. He has to counter oh, that. Man, like, because so, every single one of the cards inside of, uh, of the Blue-Red Red player's deck is just... Wait. Yeah, so that guy, r remind me exactly what he does. He deals damage based on... <clears throat> Whenever a player casts uh, a spell with converter mana cost three or less, they that player takes two point. damage. Two damage, okay. And he's, a, and he's a bear. That's cool. Yeah, so it's a good thing he counted them. So he's going to go ahead and take another two, so that's six, seven damage total. Flip the Snapcaster. So Goblin guy doing all of the work. 13. Drawing no cards. Yeah. Um, we're just going to go ahead and ship back to feature match one real quick to see where they're going. See if they're started. You can watch, keep an eye on that. So it looks like they're just finishing up shuffling. Um, don't forget, you can see your little feature feature match table too there on the right hand side. Um, Mark hmm. Morrison keeping up three lands, probably some amount of burn spells, whether it's Flames of the Blood Hand or Skull Crack. And yeah, we'll go ahead and go back now. They look like they're talking about something. Kevin Jones and argument something. I don't know. But we'll, it's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll have our, our deck. Yeah. Whatever person tells us when they're set. Um, so, yeah, he didn't play anything. He just got a grip full of cards, so... Oh, and he just... All right, so blue, right, red, just missed the land drop. Yeah, I think the... I mean, at least he has one of each color. color. Like, you know he has Lightning Helix and a Snapcaster Mage. So, like... Yeah, but he, if he has Skullcrack, it's like Blowout Central. He might even just be dead. <laughs> Not really sure what the life totals are, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure the left side's not 13, so he's going to go into Lightning Helix. Mark's going to Skullcrack for this. That'd be too good, though. No, there's a Skullcrack in his hand, but Is he's there? thinking about saving it. Oh, he's going to use a uh, Flames to Blood Hand. I don't know if it's a Flames. He might be cracking to keep... I don't know why he'd be cracking if it wasn't Flames, but I thought it was a Skullcrack in his hand. Well, we... we'll see. Yeah. I th no, I definitely saw a Skullcrack, but I don't know. He might be going for a Flames just to... Because is he dead, then? He's going to take two, four... Flames deals four. So, flames deals four, right, so he's not going to be dead. He's going to be down to, like... Three to four life, though. Sorry, guys. This is the feature match, too, so we don't have the uh, life dates quite on there. So, yeah, Flames. Um, so, he says fine. Goblin Guide is going to die. So, he's going to take six damage there. 
flip the top card, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, um, maybe he'll get to draw land and this will turn into a match. Um, first trigger and second trigger. There you go. That draw was two lands, two lands, lands in a row. See, that's why I don't like Goblin guys. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> like, like for all he's, you know, he's he just popped back up. Though. He's definitely already into single digits. Yeah, like no, he absolutely. plays a tap land. He's probably in, he's probably at about five to seven life somewhere in there. Like um, Mark Mark has at least two burn spells in his hand. He has Skullcrack and Shard Volley, mm -hmm. and Eidolon of the Great Rebel. So like he he's gonna have to counter Actually, Eidolon. Is he just well, he's not quite dead. The red white burn deck definitely picking up in popularity. And it's just a very good top. deck. I don't know if he did. I know he had that it in his of, hand. Yeah, it kind of looked like he but just But it looked like he just miracled it. I think, I think this is game. Well, oh, it's kind of hard to shit back over it. But our feature match one starting, so we're going to go ahead and hop back to them. You can watch that in the corner there. Um, wow, yeah, feature match is <laughs> definitely going. Um, so let's see here. So he's going to go ahead and get in for one damage. Kevin's going to turn on a 19. Um... So, Kevin says, sure. I like the use of this temple, to be honest. The temples have been... Um, it was in the other deck, the Primeval Titan combo deck. Summer Bloom. Alright, so, uh, but Affinity is at 18 somehow? Um, probably because of that Vault Scourge. Yep, okay. Um, Alright, so... Let's see. Kevin's got a pretty good grip full, but Kevin's facing a lot of damage very quick. I'm pretty so sure that's an anger of gods in Kevin's hand. That's going to be pretty good. At the good. very end of his hand. But Kevin's going to drop to 17. He's probably going to use the Serum Visions here. Oh, Bolt. Nah, he says, I want to save my some damage. Playing Bolt in the Scape Shift deck is definitely not you side conventional. You side into him. Um, a lot of the times it was Flame Slash. I played Scape Shift for a pretty good amount of time. Um, but yeah, so it actually looks like... Oh, they're in our future match two over there on the side. You can see he's not dead yet. And it looks like he's got about five lands. So for all we know, Blue White Red's catching back up. But I guess we'll see. Looks like he's targeting Lightning Helix with a Snapcaster. So I'm going to go ahead and get in for two, three damage here. Kevin's going to go down to 14. Uh, what Sam is going to go up to 20. 20. Sure, I wonder if he's just gonna fire off the anger. There's no way he doesn't. Because like it kinda thinks he has to go get one of his red sources right now though. Yeah. Like, it burns but it, a like bit. it hurts a little bit, but like Etch Champion and Arcbound Ravager are both cards that would do not care about Anger of the Gods. Mm -hmm. So you get to get rid of three of his cards. Like you get the three for one for free. Granted, they're not the best cards in his deck, but he can't have that many cards in his hand. Three, five, six, seven. Turn three, and he was on the play, so All right, he's so got two cards in hand. to eleven right now, because uh, Kevin just did bolt himself off of his fetch. So, Let's see, so yep, he says sure. Pretty sure Mox Opal was the draw for the turn. I'm not sure though. Did he just passed too. Yeah, uh, that's, that's not really good. bad. So for affinity him. is pretty. And Kevin scheme. has an ancient grudge in hand. Ooh. Yeah, so Kevin can stall this game out for days now. Just for as long as he wants to play this game of magic. <laughs> there he goes, suspending the search for tomorrow. Letting us all know that he's <laughs> in for the long haul. <laughs> he's not worried. Keeping Is It Charm up in case. Is It Charm and Ancient Grudge? Ancient Grudge, yeah, it is an instant. Cards OP. Inky Crunch is very good against Affinity. To the point where... Oh, another Spring Oak Drum. This is not good for Sam. Yeah, he's drawing all his mana sources. This is like the thing you run into with Affinity sometimes. It's like, I'm drawing the wrong side of my deck. Kevin's not too worried. He's going to go ahead and trigger that. Anger of the Gods definitely turned this game around. Kevin Jones going, yeah, I mean, yeah, only card, having three lands. Like three, for, three for one is just good all the time. <laughs> Especially when your opponents are the creatures. Yeah. Uh, it, <clears throat> Sam's keeps seem 
kind of suspect. I mean, uh, um, he was playing cranial plating, but like to not to keep hands without it. I mean, I've never played affinity before, but without cranial uh, plating, none of these like, well, none of these hands seem no, too but his hand was okay though if Kevin didn't have an anger because or, or okay if Kevin didn't have removal into anger into having anger in hand because like he had double signal pest, double signal pest vault scourge. Ornithopter. Like, that is a really fast clock if it gets going. That's a lot of damage per, per swing. Um, I like how our second feature match is still going. It's looking like Mark's lose, losing pretty badly now. Down to just four lands and two, facing two snapcasters that are attacking. So you know that the game's probably just about over for poor Mark there. I mean, he's got some cards in hand. He could just be waiting it out for the control player to tap out. Yeah, I don't know. If it, I don't... Burn, burn gets, falls off pretty badly at game. I mean, yeah, it, it all matters on what's in his hand. Like, he could have burn, burn, burn. Like, just three burn spells, he can cast whenever he wants. Yeah. And, you know, he still has his life total use as a resource. Not really sure what the Affinity player is thinking about. Galvanic Blast, Ancient Grudge. Well, no, Kevin was scrying. Oh, okay. Kevin was scrying, so, yeah, that's that's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see what's up. You got a draw for turn. Affinity has got to be. He's got a handful. Of I'm not really I sure. Yeah, I'm hand? not really sure why he brought the ancient grudge in. Was that like in, in in Sam's hand? Yes, that was really an ancient grudge. I'm fairly positive. I'm not sure that he played basic mountain. Electrolyze you to draw a card, and so to put you down to 18. Ooh, the numbers. Draw a card for turn, or no, draw a card from electrolyze, and then, then draw a card for turn. To be honest, I think Kevin was actually testing to see if he had the spell pierce or something. Maybe not. We'll see. So he's going to go ahead and draw. His hand's loaded. Yeah, Nature's du Claim. Double Scape Shift. Nature's cryptic claim, Command. Cryptic Command. Is it Charm? I didn't see Cryptic, to be honest. I, I saw everything else now. Cryptic is at the back there. If Kevin had a land, he could have had Cryptic into Scape Shift open. Oh, and he has a Valakut out, too. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he can he can Scape Shift, grab Valakut, five mountains, and deal how much damage? No, you have to, because there's only seven lands in play, he still has to grab six mountains. And he doesn't have a lot of mountains in play. Wait, was, but he can grab Valakit and six. No, right? no, he can't. Oh, seven. He's not facing six. Yeah, he's gonna keep the Valakit in play. Right, so it's just gonna. He's, 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 he's he is getting eighteen play. in the face right now, though. So yeah. Depending on what he has, this is gonna be pretty much a game here. Kevin has um, three men up, probably, you know, just representing anything really. We saw the is it charm in his hand. Yeah, I'm fairly positive. I mean, right. Kevin really wanted to draw land, just have cryptic command open to just you know punch things in the face a little bit more. But uh, that's it. So they shake hands. Kevin Jones wins round one, which is pretty good because that means we'll be seeing him. Hopefully Mark ends up winning. Oh, his hand is... Yeah, why did he bring an Ancient Grudge? He's showing Kevin that right now. Um, Right? Or no? Is that Ancient Grudge? Yeah, no, Ancient Grudge is right there in the middle. Oh, yeah, the, yeah green flashback. So I'm not sure. Kevin's probably like, why did you bring that in? And, uh, yeah. All right, so let's see. All right, so I'm assuming... Moving on to game three. Kevin, so, so Kevin 2-0 and... Oh. Wait, oh no. Somehow Mark pulled that off. I'm not too sure. Mark, yeah, Mark won 2 0. Oh. So, uh, that's what I was telling you. That's crazy. You have some amount of burn spells in your hand, and the the opponent just gets way too greedy. They think they're, they think they're so far ahead, and then you just get to kill them. Yeah. Cool. Well, I mean, that's good. So, we have, I don't know, my two favorite players in the tournament um, <laughs> currently sitting at 1 0. Um, all right, we're going to go ahead and switch over to us real quick. Um, hey, everybody. What's going on? Uh, so this is our uh, Kerwin's Game Store TCG Player 5K uh, Modern event for New York State Championship, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's a pretty good pretty good event going on. Yeah. Um, I'm getting told by our booth upstairs that we might maybe go find another uh, another feature match. Yeah, because we're not that deep into the round. It's no, those like were 20 both pretty good in. matches. Yeah. Infinity versus Scape Shift, those are turn five, <laughs> turn five, turn six wins, and then burn. So... Um, so yeah, so it's going pretty good so far. My two favorite players are uh, sitting sitting pretty. So I guess we'll see. There's a pretty good amount of players here. We got Kevin Jones. We have uh, Phil Bertorelli who won an SCG Open. Kevin, everyone knows Kevin Jones. He's actually he Kevin Jones. Is he still in the Players Championship for the? SCG I'm pretty sure he is. is. He was in 11th last thing I knew, but he he probably like he hasn't moved up and down. Yeah. But so last I, thing I knew, he was definitely still in contention. Um, for the, he did the just Star City Players he did just cash GP Boston. Which, did he? I didn't, I didn't, yes. What was he playing then? Scape Shift still? Yeah, he's just, he's been rolling on Scape Shift hard. Scape well, Shift is very good. Play very similar decks. So yeah. It's like you kind of you play your counter game and then you kind of cheese the opponent. Into yeah. It. Scape Shift good. is very good in the meta right now. Um, yeah. I don't know that it's like at the pro tier where everyone played it. 
it was kind of bad. There were there were some really weird lists though, like people because that was the first Pro Tour when Scape Shift was legal again, right? Um, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I most definitely, definitely have was. Been. Yeah. So like people were playing with really weird numbers because I remember there's some weird decks coming out that were like these are weird numbers, but um, that's that's about it though. So that's good. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and maybe go take a look if we have another feature match. It's probably gonna be kind of hard to find a feature match, but um, if you if we can catch some slower players in I'm between sure we matches, some, if we want to watch the slower players, that's the question. Um, but all right, so you just saw our first feature match. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, Alex Mitchell and uh, Mike Queen. So we'll be back real soon. Um, hopefully we'll have another feature match. If not, we'll see you for round two. Uh, stay tuned. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate it. Carmen's Game Store. We're going to go ahead.